hello and welcome to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you another one wide um, logic gate um, as you remember uh, you should remember last time I showed you a t-type uh, flip-flop and the time before that I showed you an XOR gate and this time uh, I'm going to be showing you a D type flip-flop and so uh, basically uh, someone asked for this to be made on the previous um, previous video and I was expecting to spend a while on it um, uh, trying to make it smaller and I made one version and uh, it was uh, yeah, a bit bigger than this one and I thought I might as well do what I probably should have done and start and check the wiki and so I went straight onto the wiki and found uh, this version here which is uh, very small for what it achieves as a uh, D-type flip-flop so I'll try and run you through the explanation now of a, a D-type flip-flop. Uh, basically uh, this one here is D, this lever up here and this one is C or uh, whatever you uh, want. So basically um, the output here will only change um, to D uh, in uh, different conditions. Um, in um, varying conditions of C is what this is called or uh, just then the different input um, so if we look here if I try and flip D the output doesn't change at all but if I flick C round um, you see the output hasn't changed but now if I flick uh, D that can now change um, to on and off now if we turn D on but then we can pretend that this um, C1 here is locking um, the current is locking Q. So if we just flip uh, the C down here, you see that the out. If I now toggle D again, the output is still set staying the same. It's still staying um, as on when I've locked it onto on. So I can just lock it back onto off again. Just you know, um, taking that up so that the output is off, and then lock it using this lever here and it now stays off again so um, I hope you understand um, how D-type uh, flip-flops work now and um, the main uh, reason D-type flip-flops ever, ever originated is memory uh, D-type flip-flops are probably the uh, best flip-flop for memory usage as it has the blocking off um, feature because if say you want you uh, want to write in a new bit of memory, um, you can just unlock um, the C, and then you can write uh, whatever you want. So you could write it's off, or you could write it's on, and then you can totally lock that, and then you can still send continuous signals to this one, but it won't change the output. So you could just have a line of these, and just open up. Uh, each of these you could in these terms you could just simply uh, place repeaters uh, all along them to open them up so you could have these like um, side by side with a gap in between and then you could just open them all up uh, using repeaters and then just send the information you want to all the lines at once so you could send uh, information down uh, to the first line and to the second and the third but only have the first line open uh, I hope you understand that um, so that you don't have to uh, manage which line you're inputting the data to. Uh, you can just put it into all of them. So that is the uh, uh, D-type flip-flop. Um, if you do have any more requests, I am more than happy to um, help you figure them out. It doesn't have to be something that's one wide. It can just be anything that you want to fit into a certain space or um, any like piston logic that you need help with. But um, some of you may have just seen this thing over here. Um, uh, this is just me. Uh, this is what I do when I get bored of uh, homework, apart from um, making redstone stuff. Um, so I'm just experiencing a bit of lag here for some reason. But I'll just place a lever in the middle there. You see that they all expand out and then they come back. And this is a good example of instant logic, by the way. 
because if we look at the uh, far example there, if we just look at that piston over there, then you see it takes time for the signal to reach that one. But as soon as I flick this lever, that one's going to retract. You see that? So it's travelled all that way. The information just travelled all that way really fast. And like when you power it, when it takes some time. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.